Roasting Robusta. Hello and welcome to a new episode of Roasting Robusta with me, Francis Peck. This is the second profile that we'll be trying out with uh, the Genie Cafe here. As last time, I weighed 200 grams. There we go. And so the second profile would be the cinnamon roast. So that's uh, 13 minutes. 235 degrees characteristics an American style slightly acidic didn't know the Americans are slightly acidic apparently they are and then a cinnamon color that's why they called it the cinnamon roast easy enough so putting the settings there 13 minutes and 230 here we go so curious to see how it will compare to the light roast which was strong acid yellowish brown corn slight grain smell the leaf flavor I do remember kind of well with the robusta you don't have a weak flavor uh, you have the very kind of uh, strong bitter characteristic there so the beans are still huge, still the same, the same sack of beans I have there. What's really quite amazing about them, despite them being so big, they they, they feel they just feel very very light. As this is going on, let's see how many beans do I need to put on here to get one gram well I guess probably two grams because the Herio doesn't really start measuring until two so that that now says 2.6 can I take one up two. 2.2 and we have two for six beans okay six beans to get to 2.2 grams let's just get anything that I have here so here I still have some Indonesia sitting and then we'll do one two Three, four, two, four, six. Okay, well, eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Okay. Okay, two point three, so now let's go to two point five. Okay, so two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. All right. I mean, I guess they just kind of. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Of course. If you really just compare one to one, this this one is heavier. Um, but uh, still, it, it feels very not dense. Last time, the color I got from the light roast was already looking a bit cinnamon-like. So I am quite curious what we'll get with 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 the cinnamon roast out of it. Um, we'll just let the roast continue. Let's speed it up and uh, see you in a short while.
so this is a, just about to finish. It's taking uh, around eight and a half minutes for the cooling phase. I actually still have a few beans from the batch from the previous episode. Again, at home, don't do as I do. I am an idiot. I mean, this is at 60 degrees, right? So uh, a sauna is 80 degrees. So I figure I can handle this. I wouldn't handle the cold in the sauna though either. Uh, so there can be bits that are still a bit hot. So do it with as careful as you can, of course. There we go. And did we get all the beans? Yes, they're all out. So, we have 171.7 grams. Who remembers how much it was last time? No clue. Um, in any case, it, it should be less based Based on the color, it definitely should be less. We can see that uh, the lighting is not ideal, let's say here. But if you trust me, I can confirm that this is uh, a slightly darker um, color. And um, despite the fact that there, there is one difference, and the difference is that now it's uh, January, it's, it's a bit colder. Uh, the temperature inside here is uh, uh, just below 17 degrees. So when I roasted this and I keep the, the beans up there, so uh, they had a slightly higher starting uh, temperature. Um, difficult to control all the parameters uh, for this, uh, but uh, we do our best, let's Let's see what happens uh, when we do the brew. Ready for brewing. Already did the grinding. So this was uh, for the easy press. So, but I just wanted to share like, it just gives such an amount of static. I remember that from, from last time too, that uh, the amount of static quite, quite um, surprised me there. So it must be one of those characteristics um, maybe they're also quite dry and brittle you do see that I mean the color is it's a bit darker than what you would expect from a cinnamon roast so I guess a coffee scientist a real coffee scientist would probably be able to tell you that's ready for the flare a change comparison to last time is that I'm doing the cupping instead of the French press um, with the same grind setting as I do for the Hario. So again, you can see here with the extra static, the older light roast beans, they had a static just after roasting, but uh, with time that has subsided. As far as odor, I mean, the older one almost doesn't smell at all anymore. <laughs> You know, and this is, you know, it's, it's very herbal, very herbal smell. Okay, so here we go. Let's just see. These aren't perfect cupping cups, but uh, they will do. At least I am using the same for each, so I'm able to add, go, well, let's keep it at around 150. So try and remember that's the medium roast. So now here we go. No 
first one hundred and yes, it was one hundred and fifty two. So let's get that exact to the drop. Yes. Okay. So white roast. Oops, goes here. Now for the Herio. So these now have exactly the same roast. Last time, oh, let's get this timed. Last time I did uh, 200 grams of water to get that equal with the French press. Given the fact that we're not doing the French press anymore, so okay, I'm not. This is this is getting a bit of mess. Will not really be a very fair comparison. Maybe just let's keep it at a hundred. Okay, now let's just go. In some recipes, they say the more you agitate, the better. So, definitely got a lot of agitation here. And we're at. Okay, 200. Yes. As I prepare the flare, just quickly reheating the water. Put this on the sides. This time I did preheat my chamber. It must be around 60 degrees now. It's not indicating it anymore. It went all the way up. Okay, the water is still very hot. And just preheat the cup. There we go. So last time, with the grind setting of 10 on the Easy Presso Jake's Pro, it came out quite rapidly at around 6 bars. So now with the roast being uh, high duration, I do expect a bit more resistance. So we do have, yeah, and I'm able to yeah, go up to even seven bars. Oh, no, darn it. That. <sighs> so I'm actually now able to go up to nine bars. Lost a little bit track though of the timing. So not to dilute it too much. I'll keep it here. I love my ristrettos, as you might well know. I got this switched out. Okay. Now let's have a look. We're at 17.8 grams. Okay. So it has a nice resistance. Um, it's the same setting as last time, so 10. But of course... Uh, at the lightest roasting settings, um, there's you can't you can't compare that though. So it's it's good to know at 10 grams of coffee in settings 10, you can make an espresso out of this. Let's now go to the tasting table. So really, really rush to get everything here because I'm very curious about this uh, Vietnam robusta. Espresso, espresso, almost ristretto. Let's see. Freshly roasted. You cannot escape the bitterness. But despite that, it is possible. To get a kind of 
chocolatey feel in this espresso. Some people really like the bitterness. They, you know, they're kind of very used to the um, Italian espresso blend that most of the times contains a bit of the robusta. So if you're into this kind of flavors, why not? Of course, it's not a fair comparison with last time. I didn't properly dial it in. So now I kept the grind setting constant to be able to do this kind of comparison. But um, all right, let's have a taste of the Hario. It's a bit watery, of course. It's a bit too diluted. Didn't really choose the best ratio when I started out my experiments. Um, as uh, far as the cupping is concerned, I don't do this quite a bit. In the end, I think it's cupping is more important. If you're like, you know, considering to buy a hundred kilos of something, you know, and you, they need, you know, you usually don't do that for your own personal consumption. So you need something that's generally applicable to those, you know, objective comparisons. Then it really just makes, makes a lot of sense doing that with cupping. Uh, given that for me, espresso is my favorite. I don't do a cupping after every roast. Um, this should be the light one. Let me try and sustain this by first trying out the one I believe is the cinnamon roast. So you do have this kind of ashiness inside. Again, that, that's really tobacco-like tobacco kind of flavors. That, that's really um, what Riddle Boost is all about. Getting those kind of flavors without having to roast too, too dark. <clears throat> getting a bit of grounds to didn't let them settle enough so believing that this is the light roast as far as the cupping is concerned there's less of this kind of ashy tobacco feeling to it and the acids are more more pronounced so drinking it this way, I prefer the previous roast, even though it's has been you know sitting there in the kitchen for about two months, not properly packaged or anything. Yeah, and this kind of is then a bit too bitter as this kind of beverage. I and and the espresso. I can enjoy it. I would not buy it. Or who knows, maybe in a year or two I'm nostalgic for this uh, kind of flavors, but um, as an espresso, I would consider it a valid option. I think it's only going to be downhill from here in the later episodes, but uh, who knows? We have to try them all. See you next time. Thanks for watching.